Good morning, guys. Right, so today we are at the National Painting and Decorating Show at the Rico Arena in Cov, and of course, we're here with our guys, Obi Wan, representing them on the side effects stall. So it's their range of decorating products as well as the Obi Wan products as well. So let's head inside and see what it's all about. Right guys, this is it. We are on the Side Reflex stand slash Obi Wan stand. So it's their range of products for decorating as well as their adhesives and sealants. Pop around here and we'll see. So we've got the spin to win as we normally have, which is awesome. People can win loads of fantastic prizes on that. We've also got the little demo area set up here. So this is where we'll be. Morning, you're right. This is where we'll be demo demoing all the side reflex stuff, so the corks, fillers, that sort of thing. And over here is where the Obi Wan stuff will be demoed as well, so all your sealants and adhesives. It's going to be a good day. There's lots of people outside waiting to get in, so I'm going to get set up with these guys and then we can crack on. Let's do it. We're on the Obi Wan stand and we're going to see a little demo. So, what can you show us about these little products that we're going to be using today? Here we go. So, we're going to use the uh, paintable, instantly paintable cork. We're going to use the filler and also the Obi Wan original. Awesome. So, using this now just to stick it on, just going to use it purely just as an adhesive. And that will grip it straight away. So this is the instantly paintable cork, yeah? That's the one. This is the instant filler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these gaps here. So this is a proper filler for filling in plaster and stuff like that, yeah? Yeah, you don't need to use like, any um, large quantities, large boxes. You just straight away with a tube. And it fills the gap. Nice. And that should give us enough time to go straight away back. Straight back over the top of that cork with some paint, which is generally a no-no, isn't it, with other brands? Yeah, normally you need a hell of a lot more time than this before you can paint it. No so as you can see there, you've got the coverage over the top, there's no dragging on the brush either. So the material's all still in there? It all stays on there and the colour is all covered over. And then when that fully dries, there's no shrinkage or cracking or anything like that? True to its size and shape, it just dries just like that. And it's a very flexible... Flexible as well, it can adhere to different uh, compounds, it needs to get into different gaps and things like that. Awesome, okay. So, and with regards to the plaster filler, yep. can you sand that down? Yeah, once it's fully cured, yeah. leave it uh, for 24 hours and then you can lightly sand it down. Give it a light sand in. Awesome, and you can apply that in layers as well if you need to. Yeah, you can do it again obviously if I did if that was a bit longer after I'd be able to just re go over it as many times as I need. Quality. So Obi Wan has got everything covered haven't they? Yeah absolutely does. So there you go, another one of the systems that Obi Wan provides which are absolutely amazing and will save you time and also give you that quality finish that you're looking for. Nice one guys. So I've just snuck away from the Obi-Wan stand, just to have a little look around. Obviously we're here, we've got to check it out. I've just first of all come and got my uh, brewer's little bag. There's a t-shirt, a beanie, a stirrer, all sorts of little goodies in here, which I'm well impressed with. So we're going to have a little mooch around. There's a few stands that I've seen that I'd like to just have a bit of a, a better look at. Uh, yeah, let's go, let's go and have a look. So there are lots and lots of obviously decorating stuff, but lots of brushes, rollers, filling knives. There's also stuff like this. So this is an academy that do various different courses um, for different finishes, resin stuff like that. 
spray paints, there's lots of paint cleaners, there's, lo there's loads of stuff here, it really is. It's quite interesting to be fair. Obviously I'm not a decorator, but it's good, I like it. What I'm looking for is somebody that will give us a demo. There's also, obviously, uh, health and safety requires dust extraction on a lot of things, and obviously with decorating there's going to be a lot of sand and stuff like that involved, so there are a lot of uh, vacuums and dust extractors and stuff like that. So we've got these guys I've not seen before, they're called MaxVac, there's Merca, there's a few others as well. Obviously it's very important to keep the dust down when you're sanding, because it's, it's dangerous and it's not good to be breathing in. So this stuff, this is resin repair stuff and there's a lot of this around on social media at the minute showing people doing these sorts of repairs so I'm quite interested in this product so let's see if we can find somebody who will give us a little demo. Right, so I'm here with Millie from Repair Care and she's going to give us a demo on... Uh, so this will be our Dryflex 16 that we'll do and we're going to do a small repair on a bit of timber and you're going to see how the products work. So you would use it to kind of do any kind of timber repairs, masonry, <laughs> cast iron, pretty much anything, just not plastic is what you'll be working with. So when you're using the products, you can either use a part A and a part B or you can use the two in one products. Part A and part B are always great to use, especially if you've got one of our double guns, but everything's pre-distributed, so you don't need to measure what you're working with. It'll come out with exactly how much ratio that you need. So you see when it comes out you've kind of got this neon green colour which is what the 16 comes out at and depending on which products you work with, which could be our Flex 1 or our Flex 4, they come out with different colours. But the idea is once you mix them they'll all be this kind of yellow colour which lets you know that it's fully mixed. Make sure you're cleaning off your board because that's where you're going to get some unmixed resin. Can you see there see where it's trying now? to change colour, yeah, yeah. yeah. Starting to get those yellow streaks, you've still got the bits of green in there as well. So when you start mixing it, how long do you have until it goes off? Depends which product you're working with. So Specifically with the 16, you've got 90 minutes, but you've got different working times with the Flex 1 and the Flex 4. So they all say on the back of the packet exactly what the working times are, what the drying times are, depths and everything that you can work with. So now that that's ready to go, you are going to imagine that we've routed out all of the rot out of the timber. Then you're going to use our Dry Fix Uni to go on first. That's going to give you a really good chemical bond, but also fill in the wood timber um, fibres in the wood to make sure you've got a nice uh, resin pack. So that's basically like a primer, yeah? Yeah, a little yeah. bit like a primer. So then what you're going to do is do a really thin layer first. We call it a buttering layer. So if you actually look into any of our um, tools, we do have a specific butter knife that we will use for these for more intricate repairs. So that's going to give you a first layer because resin sticks to resin, so it makes it really easy to do your repair. Then you're going to start pushing into the product. You don't want to kind of just pile it all in because then you might get air bubbles into it which will make the repair a little bit weaker. So you want to push everything in. It doesn't need to be neat, it just needs to make sure it's fully proud into the repair. And then what you're looking for is the resin to be proud either side of your repair. And then you get into the impressive part. So all of our resins are designed to be cut, they're not designed to be sanded. So you want to cut all of the resin so that you have got the full shape there rather than having to mould it afterwards or sand it down. Yeah, yeah. So our knives are specifically designed with this right angle. They're the only right angle knives in the market purely for this uh, reason so that you can cut the product. So you just want to cut it towards you, always pulling the resin in towards you rather than away from you. That's smart that is, I like that, straight Very away. Sharp edge, which is brilliant. If you were to pull it away from you, because resin sticks to resin, it can kind of pull the resin out of the repair, so always in towards the resin repair. Very easy to work. Once that's cured off, which could be either one hour, four hour, 16 hour, you give it a slight sand either side, and then you'll be able to paint straight away. So there's no shaping involved, and you've got that nice clean edge. That's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to fall out. If you have missed a little bit or there's a little nick in your timber anywhere, what you then want to use is our super finish and then that's a fine surface filler so that'll give you something a little bit extra to work with after that. Too. Awesome. Okay, so now questions. So what's the advantage to this over normal two-part wood filler? So two-part wood fillers, they are what they say, they've got fillers in them. So sometimes you have, have issues where they're just a bit of an aesthetic fill so they can kind of over time fall out, crumble away, they're not as durable. Clean epoxy resin's got no fillers in it whatsoever so it's a lot stronger, you've got a 10 year guarantee but realistically it'll pretty much outlive whatever you put it in. Wow, okay. And so like you said, you can sand it down and everything afterwards. If you want to do, it's not it's not designed to be sanded because it's designed to be moulded. Yeah. So you shouldn't have to, but you just need to sand it down a little bit to give it a key to paint over afterwards. But you could router it out afterwards if you want something really specific or like very ornate, you could do, but it's 
it's much easier just to mould it to shape. Awesome. And then does it need any special paint to go over the top of it? No, you just need to follow exactly what the paint instructions say. So if it says a primer and two coats, that's what you've got to work with. Um, so just follow the instructions. But no, it doesn't need anything special at all. You just literally treat it as you would with wood? It was normal timber or yeah. masonry, cast iron, whatever you're working with. And what, so what can it repair? So you just mentioned masonry as well. So Yeah, so it can repair absolutely anything other than plastic. So if you wanted to repair brickwork, what you can do is use an oil-based pigment, dye the resin, so you can dye it red, and then use some brick dust and repair the masonry, cast iron down pipes, pretty much anything really. Brilliant, okay. So is there anywhere that we can find you on social media or what's your website? Definitely follow Repair Care International online. Um, we've also all got our own Instagram account, so mine's Repair Care Millie, you can follow me as well. Um, but yeah, our Instagram's really big, uh, Repair Care on TikTok and our website's uh, www.repair.com. Awesome, thank you very much. Take care, see ya. Oh, I just want to highlight this massive purdy brush. It's going to take some serious skill to cut in with that. Right, <laughs> let's go and have a look over here at the Wagner spray paint. The spray paint, the spray guns. It's saying live demo. It looks like the guy might already be giving a demo, so. Oh, here's a man that may give a demo. Right then, so I'm here with Phil now from the Wagner stall. It is Wag Wagner, isn't it, or Wagner? Well, I, I prefer saying Wagner, but some people say Wagner, some people say Wagner. We'll, we'll go with Wagner, Wagner. Like Wagner. Okay. We're on the Wagner stall. How you doing, Phil? Very well, thank you. How are you, John? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Right, so today we're going to talk about your new product. Yep. Could you just tell us a bit about it, what it is? Absolutely. It's our latest uh, innovation to the market. This is our Spray Pack 18 volt, which is basically an airless machine inside a backpack. Very innovative with a, with a maximum spray pressure of 110 bar. Nice. Zero point light, nine liters per minute output. So what's really innovative about this product is obviously the fact that it's battery driven. We work in collaboration with Bosch, so we partner with them. We uh, deliver one four amp pro share battery, yeah. uh, one uh, battery charger, uh, the backpack, uh, seven and a half meters of DN4 hose, our professional gun Vector Pro. A tip holder and our fine finish tip. So it's really aimed at the wood and metal market. Right, okay. So the fact that it's on a backpack and battery powered means you've got a lot more maneuverability around, you're not restricted with things. That's exactly it. You're, you've got complete freedom. You can walk about wherever you want to, no cables, no attachment. You want to go onto scaffolding, you want to go into different rooms because you have to do touch ups. It's perfect for these kind of applications. Are there any restrictions to the sort of paint that it can spray? Or? We're really aiming it at, uh, at the uh, wood and metal market, but you can spray emulsion, so the maximum test size is 17 thou, uh, maximum pressure of 110 uh, bar, so obviously you're looking at, it depends on the solids, but emulsions can be sprayed, yes. Oh wow, okay, that's cool. Um, do you want to give us a little Absolutely. demonstration? Just maybe, maybe I can quickly explain it a little bit yeah, more about can, the yeah. unit. So yeah, what's me. really exceptional about this machine is the fact that it's got a 4.7 litre tank, so basically 5 litres, meaning that you can spray autonomously for quite some time. You don't have to recharge the unit all the time, especially also what's important is that one battery can spray twice the tank and then there is even enough energy to clean the machine completely. So once again, a lot of time of freedom and you can do the job you want to do as in work efficiently. Time is money, isn't it, as well? So. Exactly, that's it. So there are three ways of, of using the machine. Either you can hold it in your left hand and spray with your right hand or vice versa if you're a lefty. You can put it on the floor, use it as a stationary unit like a general airless machine, or my preferred version is you put it on your back, put this together here just to keep the security obviously, and then you're ready to go. Also, what I would like to draw your attention to now, this is an optional accessory we've, we've put on the, the machine, is our Flex Twist Z Swivel. Why is this important? Because obviously when you spray vertically first, then you change over the tip guard, you spray horizontally so you cross over. Well, this takes a lot of time. If you count the amount of times you have to do this in a day, yeah. it's quite a lot, meaning that you will lose time, you will lose money. So, with our Flex Twist Z, Z Quit Swivel, you can just spray vertically, then just flip over, and you can spray horizontally once again. That's clever. Innovation, working efficiently. We're not reinventing the wheel. However, we're adding value to the end customers, which is what we're looking to do. You're trying to wait, make that wheel move a bit faster. Exactly. If you can, why not? <laughs> All right, let's spray. So. The 
good machine. It's very silent. I was just going to say that is a really quiet machine. You exactly. can see it's only kicking in when you need it. It's not constantly buzzing away, is it? So just one point, which is obviously extremely important if you're going to carry this on your back the whole day. The machine only weighs 4.2 kilograms without paint. So you add, add another 5 kgs of paint, obviously depending on the density. So you're below 10 kilograms. You can carry the, carry this around the whole day and quite have comfortably. A fantastic time spraying. Yeah, that's awesome. Very good bit of kit. So where can people get hold of this? We have a distribution network uh, across the UK, not to name any in particular, but it's it's launched. The launch is today, and it's to be sold in all our distribution. All your distributors. Partners. Is there a, a, can they go on the Wagner website or anything like that? Well, they can go on the Wagner website. Obviously, find out more information about about the machine. But we're sending it across our our distribution. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers for your time, Phil. Thank Take you. care. Thank you. We've been through a few things, we've looked at a few bits, but time's getting on, we need to get back onto the Obi-Wan stand. So, one thing, we think the Dulux dog, you know, you know the Dulux dog, we think is here. If it was the original, it would probably be about 60 years old now, so I think this is about the fifth or sixth generation of, uh, of Dulux dogs. Let's see if it's here. I can't see a dog. It is here, the dog is here. She is. There's the Dulux dog, everybody. Imagine that dog running down through a room with paint changing everywhere. And <laughs> I've got to get a stroke or something, haven't I? Right, so I'm with Mark on the Dulux Decorator Centre stall and we've got the lovely Dulux dog here. So could you tell me a bit about her? Her name's Vienna. Vienna, yeah. Uh, Vienna's four years old and Vienna's been the Dulux dog since August this year uh, when I retired her mother, who was also the previous Dulux dog, and her grandmother was previous to that. So she's third generation Dulux dog. She is, and, she, and in the number of Dulux dogs since 1961, she's number 16. Oh wow, is it all the same bloodline? Line or it has been. Um, really? We've, we've traced hours back and we're related to the very first one in 61. Um, so she's number 16. Uh, we've also got number 17 at home as well. Wow. So we've had a puppy. Um, a, she had a first litter of puppies. Vienna, come back. Uh, we had a first litter of puppies in uh, July and we've kept one. And she'll be the Dulux dog in about five years' time. So how long will she be the Dulux dog for? She'll be the Dulux dog now for about four years. Uh, and then her daughter will take over yeah. and then we'll breed a daughter so we've got a fifth generation uh, we kind of we, we've almost created a royal family with the Dulux dog so she's the princess at the moment yeah, yeah. so what, what's her uh, royal duties as a Dulux dog she, uh, she does all of the trade shows for Dulux we do store openings celebrity photo shoots you name it we do it <laughs> but all with, all with Dulux yeah so very famous then absolutely she is the Dulux star. That's amazing. Well, thanks for your time, Mark. Absolutely Take care. Pleasure. And thank you, Vienna. Can I You can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's uh, many little giveaways around here. <laughs> and one is an actual casino. So Pro Deck have got a cheeky little casino on the go. Let's have a look and see what's in there. Oh, so it's a bit of blackjack, a bit of 21. I'm not going to have a go because I'll end up spending all my money and losing. Even though you can't use money, I'll still end up losing my house or something. Right guys, so that's it for our time here at the Paint and Decorating Show. It's been really good to be fair. We've given away lots and lots of prizes on this. The guys from the Obi-Wan stand and the Cyroflex stand have been doing excellent work. They've sold loads, they've given loads of demos and drummed up loads of new business. I've learned a few new things around here and saw some stuff that I would definitely want to use moving forward. So yeah, all in all, it's been a great day. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.